Where's that treasure map? Arg, what's up everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker coming at you. And we are talking about cashless banks. Yes, is that a thing? Apparently that is a thing, if you can believe it. I'll tell you more in just a second. What I do wanna show you first, which this does circle around to the cashless banks. Uh, me and the missus recently took a cruise. We went to the Bahamas, Nassau. Now we've been there before numerous times and uh, we did get some currency. Uh, it was hard to come by. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> cashless banks makes currency hard to find. Uh, I did get a couple of $1 bills for the book. Uh, I actually had to approach several people just to find anyone with $1 bills. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Also got a couple of cool coins, Bahama coins. Uh, this is their, I believe it's their 20 cent, 25 cent, 25 cents. And uh, it's cool, a little sailboat on one side and then on the other we have a crest of sorts. Is that what I'm looking at here? Probably got it turned sideways. Anyway, it's a uh, beautiful coin. And then also got a 10 cent, which I love how they have the edges, not round. I think they're very cool. There's a fish on there and uh, it has a crest on the other side as well. I don't know if that's the same crest or not. I'll have to check it out with my loop. But some very cool change. That's going to go into the box. Yes. Look, this is all foreign. All foreign money. Very cool. And nothing makes you feel like a pirate, like running your hands through a chest full of coins. We're going to throw the Bahamas money in there. It fits right in. Good with the treasure. So, cashless banks. Yeah, here's the story. We landed in Nassau. Right when you get off of the port, there is a huge Scotia Bank, right? Huge building. And uh, I've actually been there before. I've gotten money from there before. Uh, went into Scotia Bank. Hello, sir. Hi, I need to get some currency. I wanted to swap my US money for some Nassau, Bahamas money. And uh, and they informed me, we're sorry, this is a cashless bank. Cashless bank? What does that even mean? <laughs> cashless bank. They cannot and do not take deposits of cash, and they do not have any cash on the premises to give a withdrawal of cash. Well, that seems pretty odd. There are ATMs around on the streets, not inside of this bank, mind you, that you can deposit and withdraw money. However, those ATMs come with fees both ways. You are charged to deposit your money. You are charged to withdraw your money. They are trying to eradicate cash. Well, I thought that seemed really odd. How can a society run that way? Uh, who knows? So I did find another bank. I did go in. Turns out it's a cashless bank as well. Okay, so I just want you to imagine for a moment. Here in America, the banks say you can no longer withdraw your money as cash. What money is here is digital. You now have to use your card to pay for everything, everything that comes in, you know. And, and here's, here's the thing. I was in London only like six weeks ago. Literally half of the businesses I went to did not accept cash. Half. Like it blew me away. You are willing to not take the transaction, not make any money because you don't accept cash, and, and they are. They don't even deal in cash anymore. Um, I, I think that this is probably much more prevalent in smaller countries where 
They have more of a control over that. Uh, I think that this is the future and what they're going to try and bring to America. We know that they want things to be digital. They want for your money to be 100% trackable in every direction. How you get it, what you spend it on. And they also want to be able to freeze or assume your assets, which is completely easy to do in a digital age. Uh, this at least buys me something right now in my hand. I know I can walk out and get stuff. Maybe not for long. You know, I, there's even stores here in Florida that have had signs up with the whole, you know, beer flu thing saying they didn't accept cash. And, you know, it's one of those things. It blows me away. Cash is king in my world. At least for now, uh, you know, we all want silver and gold as our backup, as our hedge. And that's definitely the plan. But cashless banks coming near you. Was there any warning? I would be willing to venture there was no warning. No warnings. I would be willing to venture everybody got an email that said, boom, today we no longer do deal in cash uh, tough shit. <laughs> and could that happen here? Absolutely. I'm going to throw one more thing at you. Uh, there has been a lot of talk about bail-ins. What's a bail-in? Well, bail-out is the government coming to save the day, right? And we know that when the beer flu hit, a lot of these banks got bailouts. Back in 2008, a lot of these banks got bailouts. The government came in, threw cash at them, kept everything running. And uh, what is a bail-in? Well, it's on the books. Banks have a right to bail-in, which is they seize your accounts as a customer of their bank. They seize your funds to use as they please or as they need to, as they deem, uh, until such time as that's not in effect anymore or they go bankrupt or whatever the case may be. Check it out. If you don't believe it, look up bail-ins. It's a thing. Uh, I've been hearing about banks that have been closing down with branches with no notice. Well, that's okay as long as you can get to another branch. But even then, shutting down my cash receptacle with no notice, I'm going to freak out. Uh, I would just say to everybody, yes, banks... These days, they seem like a necessary evil. We pay everything via the bank. We do transfers. We have debit cards. We do all this stuff. Uh, but in any case, uh, get some money out of the bank. <laughs> Don't keep 100% of your savings in the bank. Um, and, and that's just a cautionary warning, guys. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money I'm obviously not an expert at anything but drinking rum and collecting loose change. But I'm telling you, the bank, the cashless bank is a thing. I think we're going to start seeing it here in America. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. I think that's an easy foot in. I also see more bank branches shutting down. And as this whole mortgage situation, you know, the interest rates climb and mortgages aren't there, and jobs get lost, I think we see more bank branches shut down. Uh, times are tough. Hey, tell me what you guys think about that. What is your opinion on cashless banks, bail-ins? Do you know something I don't know? <clears throat> tell me what you think in the comments below. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. We appreciate that. Please like and comment on my videos. That's much appreciated. We got more coming at you. Thank you all for watching. That's it for today. Pirate out. Arg. <laughs>